Hello and welcome to Cruise Control Extreme. Tonight we'll have another segment on the build on the 64 Malibu. Then we're going to show you a new project that we've started. We're going to take an inexpensive car, fix it up, paint it, and have something that you could bring out to a local cruise in and enjoy. It's our 1980 El Camino. Then we had the pleasure of taking a cruise from Thomasville, North Carolina to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. We also have a new segment we're going to be showing you tonight called Extreme Products. We're going to highlight different things that you could use to help get your own project done. So stay tuned. We'll be back after these messages. This segment brought to you by, for the highest quality in car restoration, think Steel Rubber Products, SteelRubber.com. Call now 1-800-650-6189. For service and integrity since 1976, it's the National Parts Depot. Visit online, npdlink.com, order today. For all your radio and communication needs, go to racingelectronics.com. We use Race City Steel and Aluminum. Call 704-489-2101 for more information. We use Quantum Towing for all our towing needs. Call 980-328-4160. This is Fast Jack Beckman. When I'm not going 300 in that, I'm watching Cruise Control TV. p &E Automotive and Performance is the new shop with familiar faces. Need your oil changed, brakes done, or your engine tuned? Even computer diagnostics is on hand. P&A Automotive are the professionals you can trust. Located in Monroe off Sardis Church Road, all their work is 100% guaranteed. Need an engine or transmission rebuild or swap? P&A Automotive will handle any type of vehicle. Call for a free estimate, 704-234-2974. Ask for Patrick or Ted. Need parts for restoration? Can't find what you need for your classic? Look no further. It's a Carolina salvage in Rock Hill. Complete cars, engines, transmissions, and so much more. If you want to pull it yourself, visit Carolina U Pull It Next Door. AC compressors as low as $34.95. Water pumps as low as $7.25. Car guys, it's in Rock Hill at Carolina Salvage and Carolina U Pull It. Call 1-800-845-7098-234 Porter Road, Rock Hill. Okay, so we got all our bushings and our parts and our pieces pressed in from NPD. Um, we got the conversion kit here to change the original drum brakes in the front over to disc to give us a little more stopping power because you know, some guys like me think we have to stop for some reason. Uh, we got to get these new coil springs pressed together. We've got a tool to do that with, compress the springs. We're going to try to get this thing uh, looking a little more like a car today. So you guys go check out npdlink.com and we'll see if we can't get something put together here. <laughs> First thing we do is put the up control arms in place. Make sure to put the lock washers on with the bolts. The alignment shims will be done later on on the alignment rack. Make sure the bolts are all tightened before you go any further. Using a little grease on the lower control arms will make them slide into place a lot easier on the frame. You can align the lower control arm better with a punch or a Phillips screwdriver than you can with the bolt. Once again, don't forget to tighten the bolt securely.
you will need to compress the spring before trying to put it in place. To do this, you will need a spring compressor. We went up to O'Reilly's Auto Parts to get ours. Once you have the spring compressed, you put it in place by placing the top of it into the frame and bringing the bottom control arm to hold it in place. Then you put the spindle in place by placing it on the bottom ball joint and bringing the top control arm to the top of the spindle to hold it in place. It's easier to put the nut on the bottom ball joint before trying to bring the top arm into place. Don't forget to tighten the top and the bottom ball joint castle nuts and then place the carter pin in them to hold them in place. Once all the bolts are tight, make sure to take out the spring compressing tool by unscrewing it and feeding it down through the shock hole in the bottom control arm. Using a little Loctite, put the backing plate and the brake caliber holder in place. Using the longer bolts, put the Tyron end holder in place. Don't forget to bend the bolt locks in place. Take the new bearings out of the box and pack them with grease. You can find a grease bearing packer at your local auto parts store. We got ours from the great guys over at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Put the bearings in place, making sure not to get any grease on the rotor itself. Tap the seal into place using a socket around the same size as the seal. This will keep the seal from being damaged when you're putting it in place. Slide the rotor onto the spindle, spinning it so it falls into place nicely. Then slide the front bearing and retaining ring into place. Then put the front castle bolt on, tightening it to the specs given in the kit with a torque wrench. Once the bolt is tightened down to spec, go backwards just enough to place a carter pin through the spindle. Remember to bend the end of the carter pin up so the carter pin stays in place. Then using a rubber or plastic hammer, tap on the grease cap. Place the brake shoe clip on the back of the pad that faces the caliber piston. Putting a little bit of lithium grease on the caliber pins will keep them sliding freely. Place the brake pads on the piston, putting the brake pad with the clip towards the back piston and the brake pad with the holes towards the front. Now it's time to install the brake caliber. Place the brake caliber on the spindle and place the bolts through it to hold it in place. Tighten your brake caliber down as snug as it'll go. Place one of the two brass crush washers on each side of the brake hose, then place the bolt through and attach it to the caliber. Okay, so we started out this morning with a table full of parts, and just a few short hours later what we wind up with is a front end that actually looks like it belongs on a car. Uh, we got the brake conversion kit done. Um, we're all set to go. We got the coil springs in, no problems, upper lower control arms. Uh, the only thing we have left to do now is we need to do our 
our uh, steering links, uh, you know, connect the two front ends together, our drag length across the center, and uh, we're pretty much done with the front suspension. It's time to get started on the rear. Looking for a place with cold beer, beautiful people, and a great atmosphere? Try Boneyard Tavern. With bars indoor and out. Daily fun includes free pool on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Ladies night with $1 beer on Wednesdays. And on Friday, bike night with wet t-shirt contests and 50-50 raffles. Live entertainment every Saturday. Come out and try our $1 bone juice shots. So remember, come see us at BoneyardTavern.com or on Facebook at The Boneyard Tavern. Boneyard Tavern, where you can find cold beer, beautiful people, and a great atmosphere. Good morning. Uh, this is Gary Walter. We're here with uh, Mr. Benny Huff. And uh, if you look around, we've got a lot of beautiful classic cars today. And Mr. Benny Huff is the organizer of this event. Benny, tell us what prompted this little idea of yours. Okay, there were several things that come to mind. First of all, I've been good friends with the man that owns the club directly behind me, Fat Harold's Beach Club, for many, many years. I own 1% of it if he would pay me in what I've spent in drinks. But that's beside the point. Uh, he wanted to have classic cars in his parking lot sometime. Uh, I wanted to see if I could do it. I wanted to see if we could bring a group of classic cars to North Myrtle Beach and play in the sun and have a lot of fun. So we started. Eleven months ago, we started working on this. We contacted police departments, sheriff's departments. We talked to the city officials of Bennettsville. We talked to the city officials of North Myrtle Beach, the police department. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you what. Uncle Benny is known from Thomasville to North Myrtle Beach by every police chief up and down Highway 52 and 9. And, uh, Benny, I suppose they know you I, on this side of the jail, not the other side, I hope. 
Well, you know what I said, when I went down to North Myrtle Beach Police Department, I actually drove myself down there, and that was very strange because in the past I had been driven down there. Uh, no, not really. Uh, <laughs> I, I, we have a lot of fun. But yes, it, it, it was a lot of fun, and, and I have enjoyed what I'm doing. You know what makes these events so great? Uh, the cars are terrific, don't get me wrong, but it's the people that you meet that are coming out, they're spectators, they're bringing their cars, they talk, they, oh, I have one of this, my dad had one of those. You get great friendships, you develop the friendships. That's what makes one of these events special. Absolutely, Benny. Tell us about the, uh, the route or the route that you took coming down from Thomasville and all the stops along the way. Okay, well, we started from Thomasville. We uh, start, I left uh, Thomasville at uh, 740 and we went down Highway 109. We went on, uh, turned on to Highway 49, over to Highway 52 South. We stopped in Albemarle at the Honda dealership. Uh, it was a great meeting place, uh, and they, they were very hospitable. Uh, from there, we were on down to uh, Addisonville. Uh, there, we went to Sonny's Private Museum. Sonny has over 100 classic cars for his private collection and he allowed us to view his cars. We did that for an hour, and then we were on down the road. Uh, we, went, uh, we went into Wadesboro, uh, on down to Chirral, uh then down to Bennettsville, where we were escorted into town. Never have been escorted into town. Uh, escorted into town, uh, went downtown. Uh, they provided a great lunch, spent two hours there with them, and then we were on our way. We come through Dillon, we come through uh, Lakeview, uh, Nicholas, and then on to North Myrtle Beach. Uh, one of the gentlemen said, do you mean to tell me that we just spent eight hours driving 200 miles? I said, yeah, but we did it real slow. We did indeed, Ben. And one of the things I noticed on the way down yesterday, and I commented on it last night, you know, all these little towns that we went through, it's, it was amazing. The number of people standing along the street watching us go through. Did these little old communities have a heads up? Did they know we were coming? We, we made sure that uh, all newspaper, TV, and this sort of thing knew that we were going to do that. Now, not necessarily do you get coverage, but you get some articles. And I, I do know that there was some small articles written in different newspapers about the fact that we were coming through town. So that made it great. And you're right. There was a lot of people that were stopping and looking and viewing the cars as we come down the road. You know, one of the participants on the way down, I was talking to him this morning, and, you know, we were talking about the fact this is not a judge show here. It's just a cruise in. It's a fun day. People are still cleaning their cars up, making them shine. And one of the guys, he commented, he said, you know, he said, my trophy in this event was all those smiles in those communities we rode through and the comments that he heard from the young kids and stuff along the way. But another thing that I noticed, Benny, if you'd comment on this, and I don't know what was going on, but it seemed like some of them thought there was a funeral possession coming through. I don't know. I think it was the police escort, and uh, we were coming down the road, and we had we had cars pulling off to the side like it was a funeral. Um, and somebody made mention. Next time you do this, Benny, at least put a hearse in there and make it look real, you know. But I, one thing I want to say. Now I, I was I was asked, are you going to limit the cars, uh, the age of cars? Talking about, you know, no. Understand this: a 2011 Mustang. In 30 years will be a classic car. Today it's a muscle car. And if we don't embrace the younger generation and the younger cars, who's going to take care of these classic cars? Benny, thank you so much for your time, buddy. Thank you. All righty. Once again, we're here at uh, North Myrtle Beach. Right now we're inside of Fat Harold's Beach Club, right here with the man himself, Mr. Fat Harold. Tell us uh, your thoughts on the car show here today. I think it's wonderful. I think it's the greatest thing that's happened to me in a long time. I've been wanting to see that uh, car, that uh, lot out there full of cars, and that is a wonderful, wonderful idea. My hat's off to Jimmy and uh, all the people that worked so hard to make this, and I am so impressed and so pleased. To another day in paradise is well worth it. It is indeed another day in paradise. Harold, we're going to have to get you one of these hats like this one up there with a little hair on it. Let's see how you look with that thing on there, buddy. What do you think? He's the man right there, huh? Uh, Uncle Benny might not because he don't have too much himself, does he? Harold, listen, we appreciate you having us down here, buddy. 
And uh, are you going to have us again next year? You bet your sweet boopies. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, my friend. Speaking of uh, Uncle Benny, Carol, come on in here right here. Long time we've just been able to show it. <laughs> yeah. We Carol, both. any comments you'd like to add? This has been a wonderful, wonderful weekend. We appreciate the fact that everybody's been here. We really appreciate Mr. Fat Man. We love him to pieces. And we hope they'll all come back next year because we're going to do this again next year. This, this is my life dream of just filling that parking lot out there with nothing but old shows, to uh, old cars to for people to look at and enjoy. Absolutely. It's been a great day so far. And for those that don't know, this is uh, Mrs. Huff, Carol Huff right here. She's the real brains behind this thing right here. She did the work. You believe that. Once again, this is Gary Walter. We're here at North Myrtle Beach to the uh, Fun in the Sun Classic Car Cruise. And right now I'm with Mr. Lee Phillips with Royal uh, Purple Synthetic Oil. Lee, first of all, tell me, how did Benny Huff get you involved with this thing? <laughs> well, that goes back a long way. Um, I grew up in Lexington on High Rock Lake. I've known Benny for too many years, to tell you the truth. And I can tell more stories on him than he can me. Benny's been a, a very dear friend. We lived on the lake close to each other, kind of grew up with each other. And we've been involved in several different things. And uh, I, it's always fun working with Benny because you never know what's coming. So when Benny organized the event, you know it's going to be good and you're there. Is that right? Absolutely. Now, now, if you will, Lee, tell us a little bit about your company. My company is in a small town of Porter, Texas, right outside of Houston. Uh, it's a family-owned corporation. Dr. Williams, who started Royal Purple, was very instrumental in uh, developing Mobile One when he worked for Exxon. Uh, he left Exxon under good terms and uh, started Royal Purple primarily to reduce friction in metal moving parts, concentrated heavily on industrial lubricants. His son came on board with a doctorate degree in chemical engineering and they expanded into the other markets. Everything we make is a full synthetic. We make, if it's a lubricant, we make it. Rear end grease, transmission fluids, power steering fluid, we make marine lubricants, um, motorcycle oil. Um, it is, um, Dr. Williams has grown that company every year for the last six years to do doubling its size. They started out with independent distributors such as myself. As they grew and could handle the capacity, they moved into Advance Auto, Pep Boys, O'Reilly's, all of the name brand stores. But you can still order it from me direct as a distributor. Lee, listen, we thank you very much for your time. Appreciate you being a part of this event. I'd like to take this time to introduce to you now one of the newest sponsors here at Cruise Control Extreme and Manpower to Horsepower. His name is Lee Phillips. Lee, so I see you're a representative of Royal Purple here. Why don't you give us a little description and tell us about Royal Purple, what it can do. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate that. Uh, I'd like to bring to your attention that, yes, I am a representative of Royal Purple. Uh, that association is the fact that I am a licensed Royal Purple distributor. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm located in... Uh, Moyd City, North Carolina, and I pretty much cover the East Coast. We do dealer direct sales. Right. We do sponsorship with uh, people such as yourself. Right. Yeah. And also, we have a website that we sell direct to the public. Oh, okay. So, so the general person could get products through you through their website. Absolutely. Oh, very good. Very Absolutely. good. So what do you have here today? I see you brought some nice stuff with us. Well, I've got a little bit of everything. This is our purple ice. The purple ice is what we call a water wetter. It has no alcohol in it. It's, it's perfectly legal for racing, uh -oh. but it does reduce the temperature uh, somewhere between 12 and 15 degrees. Wow, is that right? Wow. 
This product is Maxfield. This is one terrific product. It's very similar to another product, and I won't mention the name. <laughs> I think we all know where that product uh, is. Rusty nuts and things that you have a little difficult with. Yeah, we all have had that problem before. This is um, Max Gear. This comes, I think, that might be 7590. It's basically a rear end gear lube. We make it in four or five different weights. Uh, one of the good things about our gear lube is you do not have to add anything for limited slip, locking ah. differential. That additive is already in there. So you've kind of reduced all that. So you've got all in one right here, pretty Absolutely. much. Oh, wow. Pretty universal. That's Absolutely. good. Absolutely. So. And then our regular oil. Um, this particular oil is one of our new products. It's called HPS, High Performance Street. Uh, we also make an oil called SN. Mm -hmm. The SN oil is now uh, compatible with the new Dexos. Dexos. Okay. Right. The HPS has a lot more zinc and phosphorus in it. Right. For some of the older engines with flat tappet. So, like, if I had like an old V8, you know, this is perfectly fine for that, and Absolutely. it actually would help it a whole lot, from what Absolutely. I understand. Right. Well, that's Absolutely. good. One of the things I'd, I'd, I'd like to point out, this this little bottle is a trick of mine that I love to show to people. Royal Purple has the ability to adhere to the metal moving parts. Oh, I see. Internally. Okay. And this is nothing but Royal Purple oil and water. And as you can see, when I shake it up, it just immediately well, look at that. separates. Oh, wow. So it shows you that once the Royal Purple gets on the metal, mm -hmm. no moisture can get to the metal moving part, so you oh, never have a dry okay. start. Yeah. And then this product, um, I think, is our ATF or our uh, automatic transmission. Okay, plug. right. We make a number of par uh, products from, uh, if it's a lubricant, we make it. Right, okay. We make it for marine, uh, lower units. We make a, uh, a grease. Uh, like I said, if it's a lubricant, so it's just not necessarily for an automobile. I mean, they have boats, anything, a, you know, ATVs. I imagine anything. Everything, right? Uh, airplanes. <laughs> I can't do airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lee, why don't you tell our customers once again where they can receive these fine products? Thank from. you, Brian. www.royalmgi.com is my website. Three three six five nine six zero seven seven three cell phone be glad to answer any question guide you in the direction you need to go as to which product to use for what well lee thanks for coming on board with us look toward to our adventures thank you thank you much. sir that's it for this week's episode of cruise control extreme you can come see us on the web at cruisecontroltv.com or we can be found on facebook at cruise control extreme so always remember, buckle up, be safe, and keep it on cruise control.